Hello everyone, there is another simple video for you, you know, as usual, again, how to change the UEFI boot to Legacy. Most of them are similar, but sometimes still, um, some people get confused, so I'm going to show you each and every model. Okay, so let's check the model number first. For HP, always terrible with the model number. As you can see, this is this model. 14-CM0042NA. Come on. How are you going to read that? Yeah. Okay. I don't think so. It is coming on the yeah, Zoom. Okay. Whatever it is. Now, uh, let's do that. Okay. Would like to reinstall Windows 10 Pro. There is a Windows 10 Basic one. Okay. So, let's start. First, always charger, never forget. That's the best thing. Now, open up. Focus on the screen. Press the power button. Press F9 and see. Because F9 for HP, shortcut boot water. As you can see here, EFI, nothing else, right? Even when my bootable USB um, Windows 10 is uh, plugged in already but still we can't see nothing on the display which is cool you don't need to worry about it at the bottom if you see press F10 to buy a setup option okay F10 so we're gonna press F10 and see what happened so that's the actual description of the machine as you can see the model number is here HP laptop 14-CM 0XSX whatever it is Okay, and the product number also you can see. So if you got save one, I would show you how to do that. Let's zoom out. Okay. So now, from the arrow, we're going to control it. We're going to go to security first. That's the main thing. Okay. And try to find if there is any secure boot. We don't see anything here. Everything seems fine. Okay. So go to next, which is configuration. From there also you can see fan always on, git, enable. That's a good thing, okay. Now we don't see anything which is super highlighted. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna get into boot option. Now, from here as you can see, USB boot is enabled. So make sure if your one is disabled, get it to enable, okay. Then, legacy support disable. Okay. If you don't make it enable, then nothing you could do to change the boot option. So hit enter. Go to enable. Hit enter again to save it. And they are asking again for the confirmation. Hit enter again. Yes. Fine. Now it's enable. Now let's check if there is something else. Okay. Now, those are the boot choice option. I mean the priority. As you can see, Everything shows like OS Boot Manager. No, we don't want that. What we want is always we want USB CD, USB Flash. Okay, leave it as it is. Go to the Legacy. Okay, Legacy also shows notebook hard drive, but that's fine. That's good because what are you going to do? We're going to go direct to the boot menu by pressing F9 after we save these changes. Okay, so let's say we're going to save those. What do you need to do? We must need to save by F10, save changes, or you can go to, example, you can go to exit mode, and then you can save from here. Save, changes, and exit. Press enter. Yes. Now we're going to press F9 again. No. And now, hopefully, yeah, this is the confirmation code. For every single machine, the codes are different. So my one is 3... 972 so i'm going to press you're not going to see anything on the screen so three nine seven two you know again f9 so by entering this code and hit enter you're saving honestly what do you change you're saving it so don't get confused if you don't see anything on the screen now we can see two things OS Boot Manager UEFI, which one was like this before. The second one is 
notebook hard drive but it doesn't able to read that my usb i think probably something wrong with the usb port let's change it and double check seems very stiff but that's fine that's good put it in there press and hold to turn it off again press and go back to f9 and check hopefully it would come out okay now as you can see usb hard drive kingstone data traveler which is that one you know imagine it first we tried we change everything for the boot option to get to legacy but still it doesn't show up so if you have same situation don't get confused definitely there is something wrong either the usb or might be your thumb drive or something else but once you play with it if you keep change and put it in different port it should bring the solution right so now we can see our usb drive i'm going to get in there and hit enter now you're going to see the windows logo that's it that's all okay so now we will run the process go to the main installation process and the progress will go on for half an hour even more it depends on how strong is your pc is there 4 gb ram 8 gb ram ssd or hard drive whatever okay it depends on there okay so that's all for today i hope you can uh, resolve your issue uh, it seems like so simple but if you don't know it's like you know impossible to do but thank you so much for watching i hope i will see you in the next video bye for